What's up, Smashy? So today we're playing this game called Master of Elements, and it's inspired by Lego Ninjago. If you ever watched that, I only watched it like when it like first came out, like the first season when it came out on Cartoon Network. Anyways, this is like inspired game by that show. Looks like we got the main menu here, so this is where to pick a race. Okay, so human human does is a skillful fighter, is capable of attacking their enemies while dashing, and they the least could also still even dodge all the attacks when they dash, which is pretty cool. Like ability that he does dashing, especially and a perfect dodge that will be really good and then let's check out this right here skeleton just got burned just got destroyed why does he look like that one dude from undertale skeleton uh fearless warriors from the dark world they can return from death penalty and finish off their opponent high rank skeleton skeletons escape from death uh, probably not that much of a good warrior i don't know i could be wrong about that characteristics it does survivability revenge i guess fast movie agent creatures uh a thousand years and they Tame great power does high mobility. Oh, that's really good. Damage over time. I'm think personally, I'm gonna choose the human one. Check out what we have here. So we got login bonuses. My first day playing the game. Why do I have three? Also, there's oh, there's a seven day rewards. Okay, okay so home you lock at level 30. Okay, shop. Okay, so we got shop. Oh, there's gotcha. <laughs> Bro, this kind of reminds me of what Cookie Run Kingdom and oh, a lot of Robux stuff. Okay, there's a scroll shop that keeps for in game cash. Okay, that's cool. Agility and a faint SA. Fame. If you have premium, you get a 10% money boost, mastery boost. Uh, achievements. Uh, let's check out the bag. So this is where we get our scrolls and everything. Stats is where we upgrade everything. So map we have. Oh, so then we have like a. Oh, that's good. We have an entire map. Team. Okay, this kind of works like Lux Roots. All right, let's see what we have over here. So let's look at. Okay, so we got the weapon shop. Oh no, let's see how much that is. 1,000. Oh, I could already buy that. All right, so looks like we're. Okay, so let's talk to this Mia over right here. So we're under attack. Okay, I have to defeat some skeletons, looks like. And I get a thousand XP points if I complete this. Alright, so it looks like... Oh, okay, so that was a PvP thing I needed to level 30. Okay, so I need to defeat four skeletons. Okay, we also have codes. I did not realize that. But it's... Okay, so scroll shop. Let's do one more. And I leveled up. Now we're at level 8. So now I upgrade my stats. So we need to do elemental. Definitely health. Attack 1. See what, how much damage we do now. And I'm pretty sure we could go down there and actually get some a better scroll, I think. Alright, so let's see. So, oh wait. We need to go find the postman over there. Alright, so it looks like I probably need to upgrade my stamina. Because my stamina runs out pretty quick. And, okay, so that's the next quest. Okay. Uh, let's see. So now I have to defeat K K Katana Skeleton. So I'll get much X more XP from this. There we go. So we got an Elemental Shard level 1. I kind of like how this game tells you where the next quest is. I don't think Bloxers tells you. You just have to manually find it. But we also have something called the Ability Gotcha. Alright, let's see. Let's open. Let's see what we get. Hippophone. We get some more stats points. Okay, so you set the focus on stats. Alright, get some more elements all right that's all i'm gonna do for now so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like subscribe and i'll link this game down below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out